India's INSRI Hunt Indigenous Nuclear Ballistic Missile Submarine has carried out a successful user training launch of 750 km range K-15 submarine launched nuclear ballistic missile yesterday, and this test is significant, as it proves crew competency, and also that INSRI Hunt is now fully operational in all respects. The Defence Ministry has said, that the submarine launched ballistic missile was tested to a predetermined range, and it impacted the target area in the Bay of Bengal with very high accuracy, and all operational and technological parameters of the SLBM have been validated. A newly launched promotional video of the Indian Navy, showcased a graphical rendition of Navy's upcoming next-generation destroyers, and eight next-gen destroyers were shown in the video. It will feature a canister-based universal vertical launch system with 144 missiles, as the picture shows 272 vertical launching cells placed at two locations. It also shows torpedo launchers and anti-submarine rocket system behind the main radar, three close-in weapon systems, Israeli MF Star radar, and an indigenous 127mm naval gun. The configuration will be finalized in 2024, and the construction will start in 2026. The DRDO has decided that more next-generation technology needs to be incorporated in the Astra IR variant, to ensure that it's also future-ready, so that it can be fielded on fifth-generation platforms. The new Astra IR missile will see certain changes in aerodynamics but will maintain the same airframe of the Astra Mark 1, and will feature an infrared and radio frequency seeker in a single missile casing. The Astra IR will have a range of 50 km, and will feature both rail and ejection launch modes, and will be fine-tuned for detecting reduced infrared and electromagnetic signatures of enemies' fifth-generation aircraft. The RDO Center for Airborne Systems has released an expression of interest, seeking to shortlist reputed Indian public and private limited companies to participate in Mission System of Airborne Surveillance System program, as a development com production partner for the 6 Netramark 2 project. The purpose of this expression of interest is to understand the capabilities and potentials of the Indian industries to be nominated for role of development com production partner towards design development and production of mission systems for the airborne surveillance systems. Officials have said, that next week's Defence Expo 2022 in Gujarat will see several big-ticket announcements for defence production in the state, that includes manufacturing of 100 more K9 Vajrasilf propelled artillery guns by Larsen and Tubro, and the announcement of setting up of an aviation manufacturing unit for the Tartu Airbus C-295 transport aircraft. The Ministry of Defence has released the request for proposal to procure 1,072 night sights along with accessories for 7.62 by 51 mm light machine guns under by Indian category. It must have a detection range of 800 meters and recognition range of 600 meters. It must have at least 50% indigenous content and must have in service life of at least 10,000 hours of operation. The Indian Army had ordered four Heron TP drones under emergency powers in 2020, and as per latest reports, the Army had received two Heron TP drones in March, which has now been deployed in Ladakh along the line of actual control with China. The other two drones will be delivered in 2023, which will be deployed along the LAC in the Northeast. The Indian Navy has released pictures of INS Vikrant aircraft carrier, that has started integration with the Western Fleet of the Navy. It will undertake a series of drills over the next few days, that will mold the operational tasking to make it the leader of the carrier task force. INS Vikrant is expected to be operationally deployed in about six months from now.